YouTube Africa you doing? Hey guys, Dequa here, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. We're back here on some more X Defiant. Literally five days away from having season two at this point. Plus, apparently, according to uh the X debrief yesterday, there they said that we're gonna be having some sort of play test here on Friday for a couple of hours, like three hours or so. I don't know if there's been any more information released about that, but if I'm aware of it, I'll play in it. Meanwhile, I'm still here just trying to level up my weapons. I mean, we still got the SMG shotguns all done, the secondary is all done. That's good progress, but I'm like barely over halfway. The only thing nice is that I do have all my ARs at least above level 200 because I initially had them all gold whenever that was the max but when it comes to the lmgs the marksmans the snipers i got a long way to go it's like also there's apparently like a free skin that we can get right now check your ubisoft connect challenges and claim a free m16a4 monstrosity skin today complete three games you get a free skin i mean that's cool it's not like a crazy skin i mean i think they sell them in a shop yeah we got the monstrosity acr skin i mean it looks a little different than the other one there they're cool skins they're not bad i mean it's not something i'd go out and buy personally but but if they're giving it away for free i mean uh that that seems like the perfect price but it's like also real quick i just want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support in the past couple of videos and if you guys are brand new to the channel and or been watching for a while and you just haven't already consider subscribing brother man it's literally free but i actually had a lot of people are pretty supportive when i said like i enjoy playing x defiant i enjoy playing cod i plan on playing both i had the weirdos that are like oh x defiant's dead or frick call of duty and activision SBMM matchmaking like there'd be some fake brother mans out there but we had some real brother mans as well in the comments and uh, i appreciate you guys it's like speaking of being a real brother man a real loyal brother man 100 thieves with the los angeles thieves cdl cod team there the rumors right now is they acquired a new team during the roster mania here and their new team is looking like it's going to be scrap you're going to have hydra envoy and ghosty like dude if that's not a champion winning team i don't know what is like currently it's optic and phase i mean new york or c9 whatever i mean if c9 is selling hydra and i don't know what the frick they're all doing they might go down to a bottom team they were a top team this year but all in all i'm glad i stayed loyal you know hundred thieves fanboy right here nade shot fanboy hundred thieves hat right there a little dusty but los angeles thieves hat here we'd be freaking brother man hundred thieves actually drops good merch though i'm a pretty big optic fan even though it seems a little bit more cringe to say you're an optic fan just because everybody's an optic fan 100 thieves has way better merch than any other freaking uh esport org out there in my opinion but it's like speaking of being a loyal fan anybody who stays loyal to x defiant i genuinely don't think they're trolling i've seen some people say like oh season two doesn't look that great which i mean i'm gonna be honest i don't understand how it doesn't look good like it's not gonna be as good as season three or season four is looking like it's gonna be but that doesn't mean season two is bad like season two could be good while the other ones are looking great i don't think season two looks bad we're getting three new weapons three new maps i mean that's like average every season we're getting that but the introduction of bomb or a search and destroy type mode the introduction of private matches it's like dude i don't understand what you really were wanting obviously the ideal situation would be just to have everything have the prestige system the mastery camo rework have everything all mixed into one update all into season two here i mean you also got to be realistic i know mark rubin said that they did get allocated more resources and more team members or whatever but you also got to keep in mind he said that those people were working on the net code they're like network engineers or some shit just because they have more people doesn't mean everybody that's on the team can you know just be dedicated to implement new features but i do really think come to the end of the year with x fine here that you know once season four is kind of like gone or once we get through like the mid season four update patch if they drop one i think x fine at the end of its year cycle so not the end of 2024 here but at the end of season four i think x fine is going to be an actual true competitor to games like call of duty not that it can't compete right now like it's a fun game but it does lack in a lot of areas where cod doesn't the main thing that i see people say that x fine has over cod is really comes down to a few things obviously there being no SBMM, that's a big one for a lot of people well i've openly said many times before like i don't care about skill based matchmaking it doesn't stop me from having fun in cod i don't give no fricks brother man come here dicked on get absolutely dicked baby boy literally the same dude come on keep spawning here the M16 is absolutely devastating. But like I said, obviously the matchmaking, no SBMM, that's a big thing for a lot of people. But even when it comes down to, dude, the gameplay. I was gonna say, even when it comes down to the gameplay, brother man, I hate the freaking spider bot. Holy shit, dude. That's something else we saw during that season two uh, reveal trailer there, the XD debris. We saw the spider bot running around a lot. And Mark Rubin said that they're getting rid of it. So I've seen a few people say it was probably because it was recorded beforehand. I also saw somebody say that they're not actually removing the spider bot. They're just changing how it works. So instead of it jumping on you, it's going to do something else instead, which I mean, I'd be fine with that too. Because I don't think the spider bot is OP compared to a lot of the other abilities in the game, like the firebomb and, you know, it, it, the spider bot is not OP. It is just anti fun. Everything about it is anti fun it's not even fun to use anytime people say it's fun to use the only reason they say it's fun to use is because they know it's annoying so it's not really fun to use it's not fun to have it used against you it's literally just an anti-fun ability it has no place in the game in my opinion in my opinion i mean these are just opinions brother man don't crucify me over them if you're a spider bot lover uh you know cool you can go frick your own spider bot then go take the spider bot right in your babusi
dude. But anyways, like I was saying before, I went on a side tangent about the freaking spider bot. I also think the gameplay of Exafine stands out pretty uniquely compared to COD. Maybe not so much unique compared to the older CODs, but to the current COD, like Black Ops 6, the MW19 engine and onward, X Defiant feels more like a classic COD than Call of Duty does at this point. Not saying COD feels bad, it's just the way the gunplay feels, the movement, the snappiness, like it's just... Oh my God, one burst. Headshots on the M16 are absolutely, like, dude, look at this though. I cannot even see my red dot. It doesn't even look like I have a dot on my screen. I don't know, like, am I blind? Do I need to open my eyes? My fourth fucking eye? Do I need to have a dimensional rift here so to see my red dot? Do I need a fucking domain expansion? I was about to die to a trip mine. And then gameplay aside, I think the last two things I'd give X Define over COD, which are a little bit more opinionated, but I'd say X Define has way better maps. And personally, I enjoy abilities. I know abilities aren't for everybody. And I've heard a lot of people talk about, you know, we'd like to see a bare bones playlist or something next to find where it kind of removes the abilities and the passives and you just get the gunplay. I even would like to see it sometimes, you know, when I'm just trying to level up weapons, I'm not trying to get freaked by a goddamn spider bot. But overall, I feel like the games are genuinely different enough for both of them to succeed. I mean, obviously Call of Duty is going to succeed. It's, it's, it's COD, but I think X Define is different enough from COD to succeed. And like I was saying, once we get through season four at the end of the year here, at the end of the year cycle for X Defiant, I think it's going to be a really good game. Obviously, the main concerns become like, is it a little too late? Have people already moved on from X Defiant? Maybe they don't want to come back and give it a second chance. That's why I've also seen a lot of people shitting on X Defiant for not doing enough marketing, but I feel like they should hold off on the marketing until the game's actually in a really good state. Because it's not bad. You can have fun. But I think holding back that marketing budget and waiting for season three or season four is definitely the play. Because also the issue is you got Call of Duty right around the corner. And at least if you wait until season three, season four, you'll be like mid Call of Duty cycle. Not quite, but you know, people usually start getting burnout. Usually I'll have the camo grind completed by then. Overall, it'll just not be a bad time to hop back on X Defiant if you took a break. And I think it'll be a great time for new players to hop in too, especially with like the introduction of the prestige system that we're going to be getting in season three, season four with the revamp to the weapon mastery skins. Like I think season two is really good for players who already like X Defiant. I don't think season two is bringing new players in. That's probably the best way I could put it. If you're already an X Defiant fan and you absolutely love this game, season two is going to be good. But if you're looking at X Defiant, wondering if you should get into the game and all that, you know, season two might not be the time to hop in. But at the end of the day, like I said, kind of beating a dead horse here. I think it's going to pay off to be loyal with X Define. Understand you could play other games, but I think X Define has a lot of potential personally. Maybe I'm being a little bit of an XDD rider, a little delusional glazer. I don't know, but I have a lot of fun playing this game. I also hope they open up more servers for X Define here. I don't know what the reason is, but over the past like week to two weeks, I've literally been on nothing but 70 ping. And before people say, oh, do you have like a, you know, a net Duma? What's your internet speed? Like it's not on my end. I have fiber internet. I got like a thousand up thousand down i'm chilling it's purely just distance i don't know maybe i just live too far out middle of butt fuck nowhere but i go hop on cod i get like 20 30 ping i hop to x to find i'm like 70 ping every game However, thankfully, 70 ping doesn't feel too bad. I definitely notice an improvement whenever I get like 50 ping and stuff, but 70 ping is actually playable. And I feel like most people are on 70 ping, which is kind of why I wonder like what's going on. We got like some guys here. The top guys on my team are both like 30 ping, but everybody else in the lobby is like 60, 70 ping. Dude, the M16 actually shreds. I just wanted to destroy the El Remedio and they kept running into me. Bruh. Bruh. I don't know what that dude was doing. He was just swaying for his life. He was mashing and praying. Bruh. I was literally just getting DP'd absolutely filled. I mean, a, a double alt right there. We're getting absolutely dominated now. It was like close neck to neck and it's just, it's all gone south. It's all gone to hell. It's, oh, might as well try to take a screenshot for the thumbnail, I guess. Can't even do that without dying. Thumbnail screenshot. There we go. I mean, ah, G freaking G. Kind of got booty smacked that game. It is what it is. But uh, yeah, overall, super excited for the future of X Defiant. Actually looking forward to CDL this uh, this year as a 100 Thieves fan. I'm kind of wet. I'm a little bit moist, brother man. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. And with that being said, like, sub. I'll see you fudging later. Deuces.